Hey guys, this is Jason here from Wheels to Bonnie, and I'm back with more New Jersey GM mode. And I know it's been, again, quite a while, but I've been a little busy. So uh, just just going to refresh you guys on our lines. R Ryder, Duchesne Yager, Zay Jack, Iliage, Henrique, Ted, Bruner, Gotch, Pat Hurt, Josephson, Como. And then defense, Green, White, Larson, Volchenkov, Zidlitsky, Faye. Um... So we're gonna get some simulating done. Uh, we'll get. Hold on, I know the scouting was done right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we'll go up to Anaheim. Uh, I know it's a weird place to stop, that, but that's probably where the scout is probably gonna bother me again. <laughs> so big loss there against Pittsburgh. Uh, but uh, since NHL 4, uh, 15 excuse me, is going to be coming out um, within the next couple weeks, um, I think this GM mode isn't going to go longer than like three years, <sighs> like three years maximum, uh, because um, and we're already in year two, so um, I mean, yeah, because NHL 15 is so close, so um, and Brian and I are going to be pre-ordering it uh, on September 1st. Um, I know that's uh, it's only a week away, but you know we want to have it on time for you know on time to get videos out on the first day. Um, and uh, so uh, Brian's continuing his Live the Life goalie series. Uh, I know it doesn't look like it the way it's uploading, but, uh, he's, he's working on it, um, no, I don't want a second for Zelensky, I'd rather, if that was a first, I might have done that, but, I, I don't know if I would have anyone to replace Zelensky with, maybe, maybe Jelena is ready, ooh, two shutouts in a row, very nice, Schneider, very nice, alright, let's see, against Tampa Bay, uh, we got shut out though. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Three shutouts in a row. That'd be great, actually. All right, Carolina. Uh, not an overtime loss either. Uh, all right. At least we won against uh, Washington there. So Zajac currently leads our team with 13 goals, and White <laughs> leading our team with assists. Oh dear. Oh, no. Not against Philly. Come on, now. Caps. Come on, win. Win. It's always... It seems to be 4-3 to three recently. With our uh, losses. And I have to turn on a fan. It's way too hot in here. It's like 90 degrees outside. Alright, that's better. Uh, ooh, nice 7 3 win. Come on. <sighs> I think that was an overtime loss, though, so not that bad. But come on. Sharks, they're a good team. 24 12 and 4. Uh, what's gonna happen? Uh, another, another overtime loss. Alright, that's not bad. Um, and yep, just as I figured. Scout bothering me. Uh, we already know about McDavid. Uh, that James guy seems new. Jacob James? I've never seen him. We'll, uh, we'll scout him. Alright, so, Jim Tracker. I'm not gonna upgrade the Pro Scout at the moment. Um,. We'll check the standings here. So it looks like Minnesota's leading the league currently. And we are in sixth in the Metropolitan. Ugh, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we'll go up to there. Oh, boys, come on. There you go. Nice win against Anaheim. Colorado. Ugh. Come on, I want to win against uh, 
well, really should win against everyone, but I want to especially win against the Eastern teams because, I mean, competing for them for points, uh, especially the Metropolitan Division. So, uh, got a huge Western stretch here up until Toronto. So that's a good win against L.A., though. Always got to be L.A. And why is Anti Ranta not played? Uh, or if he has played, then he hasn't won any. Because Schneider's been winning all of them, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check uh, if the goalie rotation is off. That might be the case, because I usually like to do that for the playoffs. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'll stop the simulation, but I'm not going to play at the All-Star game. I want to check... Uh, as I said, I want to check the stats, see how much, see how many games uh, Ranta has played so far. If it's only like one, then I want to turn the. I'm pretty sure goalie rotation isn't on, so I'm gonna to need to do that. Uh, goalies, oof. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Ranta hasn't played much, considering it says he only has two games played. He probably was just backing up for Schneider. Yeah, only 66 minutes. Yeah, um, voice crack. Um, settings, rules, um, uh, yeah, figured. I figured. <laughs> okay, um, that's better. So we'll get Ranta contributing. Um, where are we going up to again? Ah, yeah, here. Alright. So we'll go up to the game, the next game before Calgary. Um, not this one, but the next one against Calgary, I think. Um, uh, three to five, are you kidding me? How do we? How, how is it that we always lose to the bad teams, but we? Or, yeah, that we always lose to the bad teams, but win against the good teams. That makes no sense. I right, expect to win here. I expect to win. Come on. Oh, a huge loss. Holy moly. Alright. Dallas. They're not that good. Come on, we can beat them. We can beat them. Oh my god. I think that was an overtime loss, though, so not that bad. Alright, Colorado. We can beat these guys. There you go. Uh, Chicago. What's their record looking like? <laughs> they're a good team. Come on. Face up against them. Come on. Oh, God, we got shut out. Anaheim. one nothing. There we go. That's what I like to see. And Eliage is at the 20-goal mark. Ah. Come on. There you go. 2-1. Yager's also at 20 goals now. Jeez, where's our goal scoring? This, this It's, like, disappeared, even with Duchesne... Yager, Ryder, come on, where are you guys? I mean, only 20 goals for Yager and Elias. Give me a break. Um, like, where's Ted and B? Thought he was supposed to have a breakout season. <laughs> um, 77 overall on the third line. Um, well, that's not that bad for a playmaker, anyway. All right, come on, St. Louis, we can beat them. We can beat them. Let's go. There you go. Beautiful win. All right. So that takes us up to the 23rd, and we are got another scouting assignment. Uh, hmm. Hold on. I want to see what that uh, other guy's about, James. Uh, so it looks like he's obviously not going to be as good as McDavid, but might be a nice steal if we can get into the top 10. But I don't think we are. Um, I think we're more like a... We'd be more of like a Dylan Strom or Sam Harding kind of pick. Um, let's see the other... Ooh, that guy looks interesting. We'll scout him. Um, uh, and one week till the trade deadline. Um... Alright, so, yeah, let's just go up to, uh, 
Let's just go up to the trade deadline. Actually, no, no, no. Not trade deadline. Day before trade deadline, because I want to see... Um, nice shot out there. But I want to see who we uh, might be able to trade, if anyone. I mean, there's definitely room for improvement. Because, as I said this before at the beginning of the video, this is only going to be like a three-year GM mode with NHL 15 coming out soon. So... I don't know. And by the way, I, uh, <laughs> I'm i not getting the next-gen version. I'm getting the 360 version, so there's still going to be ESHL on this channel, um, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> Even though we haven't uploaded that that much. I know there was like two videos that Brian recorded, but that's about it. Uh, so let's check the stats now. And player stats, NHL. Alright, let's see. Bruno, only 12 points. Oh, God, this... Ooh. This looks like a brutal season for our point getters. What is going on, Duchesne? You had 76 points last year, now you only have 39. What is going on? I... What? I don't understand. What's going on with our... Uh, Duchesne's on the first line with Yager and Ryder. Um, Henrique has as many points as Duchesne does. And he's on the second line. And Duchesne's on the first line power play too. What is going on? How many goals does Ryder have? Another voice crack there. Only 15? Are you kidding me? He has more points than Duchesne. And then Yager, 23. Oh my gosh, this, uh, this is confusing. Even Zajac has more points than Duchesne. What is going on with our point getters? I mean, I, I hope our third and fourth line are at least doing their jobs. Uh... That's not bad for Ted and B on the third line. I'd like him to be like a 30 point getter at the end of the season, but uh, it's his first full NHL season, so. Yeah. Uh, Bruner. How's he doing? Um, oh, yeah, only 12 points. Uh, oof. It's just, yeah. How's Penner? Doing. Minus 15. Oh my God, this is brutal. We're not. We're not winning the cup like this. <laughs> we're not winning the cup like this. Green. He's doing his. Well, not really, actually. <sighs> I didn't realize that everyone was doing this bad. Um. Volchenko's doing his job. Um, Larson's doing his job. Um, Fain is not doing his job, and Zidlitsky isn't really doing his job either. So the really, the only people performing are Volchenkov and Larson for uh, skaters. Everyone else is just, it's questionable. And then goalie, Let's see how Schneider's doing. Yeah, yeah, Schneider's doing all right. So, like, the only people who are like, doing something are Schneider and Volchenko and Larson. What is going on with this team? <laughs> I think I might want to trade Yager now. He's 43 years old. I mean, good God. I mean, he's still good at, and everything, but uh, I, I just I don't know what the way this team is going. And he has two years left on his contract. He's 43 years old. I mean, you may as well trade him while he's still good. Can get something out of him. And then Ryder has a three-star potential. Only has 45 points. And one year left. Yeah, I think we need to get rid of Yager and Ryder. <laughs> Bring up uh, some young guns or something, because... Nothing's working on this team right now, besides Wolchenko and Larson and Schneider, so 
Yeah, we need to do some about that, like right now. Um, forwards, Yager, Ryder. All right, so they're both considered second line forwards. They both have similar, very similar contracts, besides the years. Um, let's see if we can get. Well, obviously, we're not getting Corey Perry or Ryan Getzlaff. <laughs> Um, I'm talking about more like Jacob Silverberg, maybe. Um, yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be a nice addition. Looks like he's doing pretty good. He's probably getting like third or... I, no, he might be getting second line time. But, you know, it's better than... Having a potential guy is better than uh, having two old, two old guys who aren't doing anything. Um, Ricard Raquel... Uh, ooh, Cogliano. I know he's really fast. He might be good to add to this deal. I don't see this going through, though. No, that's not going to go through the way it is. Um, I'm not giving up my first. I'll give him a fourth. I'll give him a second for this year because those don't really matter. And a third. I, just, <laughs> I really don't think that'll go through, but we'll try it. Yeah. Um... Defense. We give up anyone there. Another voice crack. Holy God. Um, I don't want to give up Severson or Merrill or Jelena. Um, I have to give up someone though. I'm thinking it's gonna be. You know, it's gotta be Zdlitsky. And then we take back one of the players that they don't want. Helgeson. Yeah. Alright, um... That third doesn't really belong there. Um... Josephson's value is pretty up there. But we're not going to trade him. Uh, oh goodness! I don't know. I just got to get. I have to get rid of um, Yager and Ryder for something. But Yager uh, or but Cogliano is apparently only a third liner. So you know what? That might actually not be a good trade. All right, so keep searching, maybe for a team that actually wants, ooh, Minnesota, perfect, perfect, they both want him, or they both, they want them both, <laughs> and they're within the cap range, so, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's get back, uh, I don't know, maybe, Niederreiter and Brodziak. That might not be bad. Um, and then maybe just sweeten the deal like a fourth, sixth, and a seventh, which we don't need. Uh, and then maybe uh, reduce both our caps by that much. I could, I could actually see that going through. It did. Very nice. So, we got rid of Yager and Ryder in exchange for Niederreiter and Brodziak. No, that probably wasn't the best deal, but... Mm. Alright, so, I'm going to move up Henrik. And oof, and the uh, Eliage for now, and then I'll move up. Oof, Bruner, and then I'll put Niederreiter there, and Brodziak on the fourth line. Move up Josephson. Yeah, that looks. I mean, it's not better than before. But we kind of need to get rid of those guys anyway. 
Jeez, I'm having a lot of voice cracks. <laughs> Henrique, Eliage, Nita Ryder, Bruner. Four man power play. Nita Ryder, put Henrique there. PK, PK, Nita Ryder. Uh, I'll put Ted there. Shane Justison, uh, Nita Ryder, Bruner. All right, so we got that done. I don't know, I'm thinking maybe Eliage as well. Because I'd like to get as much as possible back for these guys. I'll first find a team that wants Heliage. Minnesota, of course. Ooh, Tampa Bay and Toronto. Tampa Bay is within the cap. Ooh, we can get a Rangers pick. Uh, you know, I'll settle for Tampa Bay if we can uh, make this go through. Maybe you get a potential player. Uh, yeah, their, their cap's probably going to go crazy with that. Um, maybe get someone with a little more cap that doesn't have like through the roof trade value. Thompson. And then maybe give them six and a seven because those don't really matter. Um, I'd like to see those actually uh, worth something in the in NHL 15 GM mode. Um, Ugh, you know, I think I want the Rangers first, but in that case we're going to need to give up like a second and a third. And then throw in a fourth, then reduce Eliage's cap. There we go. All right, apparently they love that trade, so... I mean, just get rid of the old guys here. <laughs> Um, alright, so, now I think, oh god, that, that puts us in a weak spot. I guess Sajak up here, Niederreiter's not ready. And then Thompson, oh my god, we're brutal. <laughs> Team's brutal right now. Um, yep. <laughs> oh man, this looks... If, like, we have all centers on the first line, all above, either at 85 or above, but then it drops, oh my god, our, our next best forward after Zajac, Duchesne, and Henrik are Bruner and Niederreiter. <sighs> this is brutal. <laughs> uh, but, hey, we got, we got picks for it, so, um, I'm just trying to think, should we... <sighs> We should probably give Zelensky away too. Because, <laughs> I mean. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Uh, what's the pro. Ah. No, I'll give Nita Rider there. Then, I guess Josephson. Some power play time. Yep. Oh, dear. Um. Uh, I think we should get rid of Zidlitsky too, to be honest. I know this is a long episode, but got a lot to do if we want to rebuild this team.
maybe, nah, you know, we'll, we'll keep Zidlitsky. So, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and that'll be it for this episode of the New Jersey GM Mode. So, see you guys in the rest of the season. <laughs>